Hello, everybody. I'm Chef Stephanie Rose, the executive chef of the Simple Cooking with Heart Kitchen, here with you today. And we are welcoming the wonderful Dr. Mike R Robich. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I knew I was going to have to cheat. I know, it's hard. For, please forgive me. It's no, okay. Actually, it's a great name. <laughs> and you are from Johns Hopkins Medicine. I am. And we are doing a very special uh, recipe. Uh, what are we doing? Do you remember? Chicken pot pie. Chicken pot pie. So our, our theme is kind of, you know, down home and, yes. and comfort food. And I think mm. oftentimes we can have a real issue with making the comfort food heart healthy. Yeah. So we were delighted when we came across this recipe, mm -hmm. which is making, you know, a classic, yes. which is almost impossible, chicken pot pie heart healthy and yet still delicious. So we're, we're doing that by really beefing it up with vegetables, cutting like out it. the cream. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not using any butter. And we are gonna have a very interesting time <laughs> yes. making our own crust. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> So All that, right. that's gonna be really fun. Uh, I can't wait to get to that part. Um, yes, we're both wearing black. Mm -hmm which is usually a mistake when you're making <laughs> crusts. You know pastry chefs, right? They're usually in it's the white. Like what you wear, right? Yes, and yes. Do surgeons still wear white jackets? Yes, we well, do. Well, y'all haven't gone all trendy and gone no, all denim. No, no trendy, no with, denim. You know, leather straps and stuff. No, just white, just clean white. white. And what about your hat? Do you get to have fun with that? A little bit, a little bit. Okay, I like bit. that. And you are a, t tell me a little bit about about yourself before we st get started with the knives. A little worried about you using a <laughs> knife here, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to tell you how to hold it properly first. That's right. Chef, thank you for having me tonight. I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. Um, I am a cardiovascular surgeon at Johns Hopkins. And so, yep, open heart surgery and valves, bypasses, all the good stuff that we, that we do for people. That's pretty incredible. I, I, I read somewhere mitral valve something something. I mean, yep. there was one, you know, specialty area that you really are, you know, sinking your intellect and mm -hmm. brain and research in and to, yep. to get it right. Mm -hmm. Which what area is that? So mitral valve surgery mitral valve. and hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. Those two areas. I don't know if I can say that one. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that one sounds serious too. But yes. I know them, they're, they're both serious. So, yeah. you know, I, we're grateful. We're grateful. Well, thank you. Thank you. Um, because that's what we care about here, the American Heart Association. And we're all about, you know, research and, mm -hmm. and heart and eating heart healthy. And that's what we yes. do here at the Simple Single Heart Kitchen. So, <laughs> without further ado, um, we're going to. Well, I'm going to uh, tell you how to hold okay. the knife properly. All right. I may not even let you use that one. Um, no, but this one's, this one's worse. Okay. Um, so we call it the pinching the blade technique. Okay. Where you just, you put one, your thumb mm -hmm. at the end of the blade. Okay. At the handle. Okay. And then your other, your pointer, your right handed, yeah. Mm -hmm. you see that? Yeah, you got it. Okay. And then your pointer finger on the other side. There. And then your other three fingers go around here. All right, I like it. I mean, it. if you really want to get fancy, you could try this one. We'll, we'll what, take it one mean? step at a time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, you could carve a turkey. That is but, true. But uh, <laughs> we're, we're not doing that. We're just going to cut up a lot of vegetables. And this recipe, what's great about it, I mean, it's chock full of vegetables. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's eight servings. So nice. um, and I don't really have a, a pie dish or casserole that's going to fit all uh, three quarts. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make one big pot okay. of all of this wonderful stuff. Um, where do you want to start? We've got carrots. We can start with, thank God, we don't even have, we don't have to cut the onions. Okay. All and, right. And, and we're, we're doing you a favor. We're doing us, <laughs> ourselves a favor. Okay. And because these are the onions that the recipe calls for, pearl oh, onions. Oh, look at those. We love them. But we would be here until midnight <laughs> if we had to to peel. Yes. I mean, I'll I'll show you. Okay. Okay. But I mean, this would be like the job you give to somebody you don't like on the holidays. <laughs> the same person that had to pick the time. They're gonna have to peel the pearl onions. I don't think there is 
a good way or mm. a fast way to do it. If, if, mm. if somebody out there has one, thank you. I mean, what I end up doing, I just get so frustrated. I just pull off, yeah. just pull off that whole outer layer. <laughs> but frozen, way to go, right? Mm. And more affordable and time consuming. Right. Less time consuming. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. why don't we just go ahead and start with our celery? Because okay. it's looking all pathetic here. Okay. Um, I think the recipe calls for Help me out here, a cup, half a cup of celery. I have helpers. Okay. <laughs> half a cup. Half a yeah, cup. Even if we add a little bit more, that's great. This is already washed. Okay. You notice this celery actually is kind of nice because it's, sometimes it's hard to find celery that's on that darker. Yeah. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's lighter. And so these, these are nice. These are probably more nutritious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you know, the darker it is, the more yeah. the color, mm -hmm. it's got more nutrients in it. Right, absolutely. So, I think it's really pretty if you see the little curve. Okay. And the, um, so I just cut it in half just to make it easier. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to cut it in smaller. I'm okay. just going to cut it into little, maybe half a centimeter slices. Okay, got it. You got it. Yeah. You got mm -hmm. it. And I'll, I'll do it in slow motion. Oh, yeah. Now, my other hand, I, you notice how I kind of keep it curled under. That's... Oh, yeah. Okay? Yeah. You don't want your fingers out here. Okay. Curl them under. Keep them under so that... You need your fingers. We need I, you to keep your fingers. I need my fingers. <laughs> yes. Keep your fingers. So curl them under. It's the claw. It's not that attractive. But safe. Now, I don't know if you notice, I do a, a slot a slide so oh, I, yeah. I don't just chop i sort of bring it down and slide it okay this is a reverse um i've been doing the reverse so long i've practically forgotten here's the other way reverse back forward whatever okay, okay. and then you just oh, wow. keep going move your other hand back while you're doing it so we're going to get all these yummy aromatics together okay and then we can just put that and uh, you can, when you're done with yours, you can put them in here. Yeah. There you go. Look at you. Man, you thought you were slow mo. No, Look you're doing this. great. <laughs> Good. You're doing great. I didn't All finish right. that far ahead of you. <laughs> Peas, we don't have to. We don't have to shuck. They're not in. They're not in season. Here, I can always move that a little closer oh, to you. Thank you. Thank you. So, you know, if you if you like it, you know, more celery, great. Um, mm -hmm. But sometimes celery can make it a little bit bitter. Okay. So I think this should be enough. Are we good? Do we have enough celery? Thank you. <laughs> one cup? <laughs> I don't remember. You know, she tells me and I'm, my life goes right in one ear and out the other. <laughs> uh, I do remember it's three cups of mushrooms. Okay. But I, I don't know if you can ever really have too many mushrooms. Mm. And it has a really nice um, a ensemble of mm -hmm. mushrooms. Are you a mushroom fan? I am very much. And what do you make with mushrooms? You just have, you'll just eat it on anything. Well, you know, I like to add them to pasta, the sauce, mm -hmm. and sometimes take the portobellos, put a little balsamic on them and grill them. That's have delicious. That's a meaty flavor to them, you know, yeah. and I like that. That's like a meal. It, it is. You right, could, with you a could make a burger. You, exactly, yeah. Do you yeah. do that? Yes, yes I do. For portobellos, that's actually one of my favorite ways. Is that I right? I put a little garlic and Ooh. a little bit of balsamic. Yeah. And then, um, I then, like the then garlic. Grill them. Yes. A little Ooh. bit. All right. All right. This summer. Now, and stuffed mushrooms. I love stuffed mushrooms. Oh, they're good too. Absolutely. I love marinated mushrooms. Mm hmm. Which is great, you know, and that they're a really good um, little snack to have on hand. And it's really not oh. hard mm -hmm. to do the marinating, and you can do it salt free. Oh, interesting. So, yeah, yeah. because vinegar has no sodium in it. Right. Oh, that so you could, really yeah, good. you could just blanch some and then mm -hmm. and they'll keep in your refrigerator for a oh, while. Nice. Just, you know, pop them in your mouth. Do some of the small ones, the buttons. And yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. I like yeah. it. I, I, I like do too. It. I think my, my mother used to make those. Is that right? Yeah, yeah I think great. so. Sometimes we, we like the stem. Sometimes we don't like the stem. Okay. For the mushroom, you know, you could take the whole thing out mm -hmm. um, like this. But if I was doing, if I were at home, actually, I, I am kind of at home keep these okay this is lots of goodness in here flavor oh I do a lot of uh, making homemade stocks mm -hmm. um, I mean you this is the, the stems edible 
Yeah. You, you could chop that up and, and make a little mixture and make some ravioli, you know. You wow. could stuff stuff it back in the mushroom, you know, with oh, some yeah. minced meat and stuff. Interesting. So okay. it's, it's, it's got a lot of flavor. Okay. Now, a lot of people will just slice these. I think when you're doing something and you want it meaty, mm -hmm. it's better to do some chunks. Okay. And this is... This is how I've been, I've been doing my mushrooms like this for a long time. Okay. So we can just, you can take what you want. Okay. Take, you take your mushrooms, I'll take yeah, mine. I'll take a few Take a little of bit of each. Yeah. Do you know what um, different varieties we have here? You know, I do not. What, tell me about these. I don't know. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, er, uh, uh, medic. Uh. <laughs> Shiitake. I, I picked up a okay. bunch of wild ones today. Wow. Uh, Hand of the Woods. Well, I definitely know we have the shiitakes. Mm -hmm. These, the, these white ones, are oyster mushrooms. Okay. And Very that, nice. I think I have no idea what this is. <laughs> it looks like a balloon. <laughs> but I feel like, any idea? Well, we'll find out another day. We'll just All pretend right. it's a balloon. <laughs> But yeah, I went to, went to Whole Foods and wow. found some gorgeous. Those I mean, are these, beautiful. These do kind of look like uh, Hen of the Woods as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, no, no porcinis and no uh, cremini. No, just creminis. Yeah, these are creminis. Those are creminis? So okay. So we got a lot of those. All right. So do you have enough to, to, to chop up? I do, thank you. I know you. We, just, we just threw a whole bunch in here. Okay. And how do, you, how do you like to prepare your mushroom as far as washing or... Oh, what, that's, what do you that's like that's to a do? good question. Because some people could go overboard. Do you have enough mm -hmm. there? I okay. think so, yeah. Thank enough? you. I'll take a little more. Okay. There's um, there's definitely some brouhaha mm -hmm. on um, do you wash the mushroom? Do you not wash mm -hmm. the mushroom? Okay. What do you do? You tell me what I you do. I do wash them. I think I'm one of those that may go overboard a little bit. You really you wash them? I do. I wash them. and I, I mean, I really wash them. But I don't know that that's... Necessary. And do you, do you think that said there's something wrong? I mean, does it do something to the mushroom? No. You I find think it, it cooks any differently? I don't think so. I think it cooks okay. I think but if you're not, like, soaking them, I yeah. mean, the, the whole controversy, it's not a controversy, is that they're absorbent, so they absorb oh. everything. And then it's really hard, it's harder to cook them and to sear them and to get some color, mm -hmm. brown them, I see. if they're soggy. Yes. That makes sense. So okay. I, I was brought up just just wiping them. Okay. But yeah. to be on the safe side these days, uh, we have washed them. Okay. But like I said, just mm -hmm. a quick... Quick you know, rinse, kind of. Quick, quick rinse. Okay. And then, you know, if you see some schmutz on it... Yeah, that's, clean it off. That's all I'm looking for is the schmutz, schmutz. I just, okay. I just wipe it off. Yeah. But some people, you know, peel them, the, you know, feeding mm -hmm. into French cuisine and make beautiful little patterns in them. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we're not going to go there. Okay. okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I like it. I like it. The, um, the, the stems of the shiitake, however, you do mm -hmm. need to cut that bad boy off, okay? Okay. Good to know. So just take, but you can still keep it for flavor. It's okay. wonderful. Okay. Cut the shiitake off. And we're going to cut that also in chunks. Okay. Like I said, we want that meaty feeling mm -hmm. in it. Yes. Yeah. And then when you finish cutting yours up, I think we can put them back right in back here. Back in there. Okay. Great. Yeah. So cut the stems off. Chanterelles. That's what I was thinking oh, of. Oh my gosh. Wow. Chanterelles are beautiful. I think they they're in season. Goodness, I'm trying to remember. In September. Okay. Um, All right. You like truffles? I do. Really? I do. I do. I like them. Yeah. I just can't afford them. I know. Them. Well, that's <laughs> so um, <laughs> that's a, that's I, I'll use issue. truffle oil, yes. which I think is a great, you know, alternative because you okay. really, if you're dying for that wonderful truffle umami flavor, mm. just yeah. you can drizzle a little bit of the um, truffle oil, then it, and of course it's more affordable. Right. right, right, absolutely. Yeah, sure, I've got some black truffles in my pantry. <laughs> but maybe you do. I do not. Okay. <laughs> I use the oil also. Yeah, <laughs> I actually do have a truffle slicer. Ooh, very nice. Yeah. 
Very it, nice. I, it's just a cool looking tool, so. I, I bet it is. Because I don't use it. <laughs> I use it for cheese. <laughs> That's good too. I guess if some of them are too little, you could just keep it whole. But yeah, okay. I, lo I love the, the truffle oil. And um, mm -hmm. I don't, you don't cook it, just add it, drizzle a little bit mm -hmm. before you eat it. It's like, a nice with a nice, nice risotto. Chef, yeah. can you help me with this one? Oh, yes. What do I do? We need I'm the stems on this one? What, what should one. I do with this? Well, I'll, I have the same oh, one so, here. Yeah. So, yes, I would cut off. Okay. Just for cutting off the, the, the legs. Yeah. The arms. Okay. Again, putting, I've got a little collection here. Yeah. Put and that these, in there. these, again, chunky. So you don't want it too, too fine. Mm-hmm. Nice. We want some nice chunks. Chunky. All right. Meaty. Yes. Oh, that's good. And mushroomy. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, mushrooms are definitely making a comeback. Is that right? Well, I think everybody, all the talk, you know, when food people get together and with the, the umami flavor. Yeah. You know, umami this. I didn't know what umami was, and, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Like five years ago, six years ago, umami, I felt, I felt left out. I was really upset. And, so, and is that sort of a, a rich flavor? What, what, when I, you I, think of umami? It's, yeah, it's, a me, it's like the meaty okay. protein. Mm-hmm flavor. Yeah, like it is. For the a umami, steak. but yeah, the, the deep earthy. Okay, yeah. I still Excellent. don't know how to describe it. I guess uh, soy sauce, I think mm. also. Is that right? Has that sort of... A little bit of that umami mm -hmm. flavor. Nice, yeah. So, um, but I could be wrong. Very savory, right? I mean, yeah. it's, uh, and, yes. and for comfort food, you're right. I mean, that's a, a nice thing to have. It is, it's, and, it, and it's hard to put, it's the fifth sense is what they were saying. Is that, that right? Umami is the fifth. Oh, you mean oh, the, the fifth flavor. The so you've got sweet. Sweet. You've got sour. Okay. You've got bitter. Mm. You've got salty. That's what I was thinking. Salt, okay. And you've got umami. Umami. Yeah. I like it. Uh, okay, that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Now, now, what what really does it taste like? <laughs> mushrooms. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Meaty mushrooms. Love it. Yeah, I think yeah. we've got a nice pile here. Mm -hmm. I think that's about. What do you think? Three cups. I think that's three cups. You think that's three cups? Yeah. Good eye. <laughs> Good eye. Okay. Let's cut up. We don't have to worry about the peas. Okay. We actually we got some fresh peas. Mm. These are the. Um, Fresh peas, not frozen. Okay, fresh. Have you ever, ever tried them? Just a, I don't. I don't a think fresh pea, that. never frozen. No, I take that back. My grandmother had a garden, and she grew peas, and we would go out and just you, shuck them and eat them. Yeah, that's the most delicious mm. pea I've ever had. I mean, if you're thinking about comfort, and I, I, I grew up doing the same thing. Is that right? Yeah. Picking the pea, mm -hmm. sitting on the floor, of the kitchen. Yeah and shucking yep. the peas oh, that's good. and eating them right right, yep. right out of it. But one it's in so, the bucket, one for you. Yeah, it's uh, so hard to find them and they're only in season for like a minute. Mm -hmm. Really, so you really you almost have to have your own garlic yeah, for your garden. Right? To get them fresh. But you know, the fresh and frozen and in a can, is, there's nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. because you know, the peas that we're, we get that are frozen, obviously they've been picked at the freshest right in peak season mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you know flash frozen right so and, and they're they're so affordable they are and it gives you access year-round yeah so i mean even in a can is great uh, you can't get the frozen mm -hmm. uh but just just rinse them if you can't find some that are low sodium okay because we do try to stay away mm, from yeah. sodium mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so all right great job so, excellent now we, we're ready for our carrots okay so we yeah we got a little uh Got a little excited, and we wanted some different colored carrots. Yeah. Are you a, a are you normally um, a fan of different colored carrots? Actually, yes. I might might need a you, you use them too. I do the yellows, the blues, like this, and your standard orange carrot, yeah, of yeah. course. I, we but did throw uh, in a, we, a standard orange one. Yeah, and yeah, there was a white one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So then, my next question for you. Yes. 
<laughs> is, do you peel them? Uh, do most you of the time I do. Even do I need to do that? Even if you were like at your grandma's and the carrots and you pull it out. Oh, of the, no, you're right. And then you you're pull just them, sitting there. Nah, nah, nah. You're exactly right. Pull them fresh out of the garden. Pull them fresh I'll out of the garden. Them. Yeah. But most of the time I peel them. Yeah. You don't, you don't have to. Okay. Um, I think people just do it to make it look pretty. Yeah. But all, you know, the majority of the nutrients. Right. As with most vegetables. That's right. Are out there. So. Yeah. All right. Or on the outside. I'm changing my carrot practice. So, I don't think anybody's, these are, these are well raw, washed and, and scrubbed, right? Mm -hmm. So, and we don't need a lot of carrots, but I think mm -hmm. these are just too pretty to not. I think the carrots, we only need a cup. Okay. And I think you could do something with the, the green part of the carrot too. Oh. Or uh, other than give it to your rabbit, but that's about all I know. <laughs> I do not have a rabbit. But maybe I should get one. Yeah. So I'm just going to cut off the ends. Okay. Now, um, it's also kind of fun. Each different colored carrot has, you know, different nutrients and mm -hmm. antioxidant in it. Right. Now, how do you like to, to cut your carrots? I think you know, we're thinking hearty. Yes. Um, so I like so, to see the little circles. Okay. Yep. Uh, do we want? Do we like it chunky or not too chunky? I, I think chunky's good. But when I get to the good. when you get to the back of the big ones, do you do you cut start the, to cut the big fat part off? Okay. All right. Cut that part off, and then maybe some nice little little rings. Okay. I think it's gonna cook long enough. I just can't get over how gorgeous you called it. These are the the purple ones. Yeah. I think, but I'm They're colorblind. So beautiful, so. and I've actually I've seen them in a lot of photographs now. So they're they are they're really catching on. Okay. Trending. <laughs> you you see all of these uh, shoku tree boards people are making, and um, I've seen a lot of them with the uh, purple carrots on it, I, and nice. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm very glad to see that. Just the. Have you tasted the white one? Does it taste much different? I don't know. The blue Let's one? try. Here's a blue one. Here. Hmm. Hmm. We have to, have to make sure the food tastes good. Mm-hmm. Tastes, it tastes parsnippy. Mm-hmm. The white one. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Um. But yummy. Mm -hmm. You tasted a raw purple one too? Mm hmm. Very good. Does it taste pars yeah. parsnippy or more carroty? More carroty. This is so gorgeous. It is. It's a and beautiful the color, color. Stays beautiful. Mm hmm. Oh, even when it's cooked. Mm hmm. Very nice. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's great. Not as sweet. Yes, less sweet. I agree. Yes. I like that. I like that a lot. I've never tried it raw. I've only tried it cooked. All right, so they're rolling yeah. away. So behave. <laughs> we'll put those in here. Okay. Moving your little scraper. We don't okay. need that yet. Okay. And that's for when we get, you know, go to the flower, flowerville. Oh boy. All, All right. right. Set a cup. We may have Maybe extra filling. So I guess if, when you get to the big, the, the fat one, you're definitely going to have to carefully cut it in half. Okay. Now, okay. you know, carrots are tricky, mm -hmm. so you probably should straddle it. Okay. So pretty. And you could go for halves, which is what I'm going to do. Okay. So we have some full circles and we've got some halves. Mm-hmm. Honestly, this looks like candy. It does. Right? It does. It does. If you put this in a bowl, you know, I would think it was like, um, you know, oh, what I'm thinking of them. Um, this, never mind. It'll come to me. Yeah. It'll come to me. Strawberry, watermelon, mm. sour patch kids. Oh, right. Yeah. Yep. My kids love those. Mm -hmm. So instead of putting sour patch kids out, put a bowl of these. Mm and see what the kids do. I think we've, we've we have extreme okay. amount of carrots, so All here right. we'll Perfect. put the rest in here. Thank and you. I, I don't, I think now we need to just cut up um, 
chop up our garlic and our herbs. Okay. Our garlic and our herbs. So let's start with garlic. I think okay. you should have a clove or two in I front do. of you. I do, yep. Can we yeah. have too much garlic? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so either. I want some of your garlic. That's okay, yeah, yeah. There you go. I think it calls for maybe two cloves. Okay. So you do two, and I'll do two. All that? right, sounds good. So, I mean, we have beautiful head here, mm -hmm. and I usually go for fresh garlic. Yeah. I always go for fresh garlic, That's good. let's face it. That's good. But not everybody has, you know, can, can get to the grocery store and mm -hmm. or has access to fresh garlic. Mm -hmm. So um, it's okay to it's okay to use the paste, you know, that's mm -hmm. already made. Okay. It's just it's got a bunch of other ingredients mm -hmm. in it. Yeah. Um, you could use uh, granular garlic or um, crystallized garlic. Oh, interesting. And as opposed to garlic powder. Okay. Because garlic powder doesn't have any nutritional value in it. Is that right? It's just no. powder. And of course, never garlic salt. God, you're right. Exactly. Yeah, that's a big Agreed. no. You know, and, and don't leave it in the bottom of your, you know, bottom of your freezer, your refrigerator, mm -hmm. you know, next to the potatoes and stuff, and it starts growing. I, you know, if you don't use it very frequently, you can mm -hmm. put it in the freezer. Okay. You okay. Can, you know, chop up some mm -hmm. ahead of time, or yeah. you don't have to chop it up. You can use a little food processor. Okay. And mix it with a little olive oil. Oh, interesting. And like put it in a put it in a little jar. Mm -hmm. I think we have a little jar. That's what I do. If I have okay. any extra, sometimes I oh, I can yeah. smell something. <laughs> uh, so cut off that little nubby bit. Okay. First. I'm okay. That dry nubby bit, and then I'm gonna smash it. All right. So I put your knife on it. Okay. With the blade pointing away. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then come down. Ooh. And. You'll hear it. Mosh! Yeah. Other one. And this really helps get that papery yeah, I like stuff that. off. Okay. Comes right off. And we don't have to chop this up super fine. Okay. I don't think I got that one. There you we like go. You've had quite ex a bit of experience <laughs> in the kitchen, Mike. A little. I'm very impressed little, with your little. skills. Well, thank you. I You're appreciate welcome. that. And, you right. know, the other thing about garlic, you know, sometimes it's a pain in the neck to chop up. It's yes. sticky. Mm -hmm. Use a garlic press. I mean, oh, it, yeah. it's absolutely fine. I mm -hmm. don't, you know, poo-poo people yeah. who use garlic presses. Okay. But if you're going to, if you want to use a garlic press, you mm -hmm. may. Okay. Uh, but then you have to clean it. <laughs> all right, all right. That's the, <laughs> that's the rule. That's the rule. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times. I don't think my mom ever cleaned hers. I think she sort of picked it out, probably with the tip of a really nice knife. <laughs> and there was always something all dried up inside of it. <laughs> it even happened here. I was, I was a little alarmed. Yeah. I went to the garlic press, and it was, yeah, a little dry. I had to soak it. I cleaned it. Yeah. Maybe I used it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this is just, it's, I don't think it has to be. Uh, these are our seasonings. Why don't we put it in with the turmeric? How about that? All right. Yeah, we don't have a lot of um, dried spices going in this. Just okay. uh, here. This is hiding. Just remember the turmeric's in here. It's down there. Okay, very good. Yeah, Oops. there we go. Oh, good. We lost some here. A little bit. There, dear, dear. There we go. Now, also in front of you on the right mm -hmm. are some of our beautiful herbs. Yeah. And I think, I think uh, the lovely Amy picked the time, so I think we have enough time. Thank okay. you. Okay. Thank you, God bless you. Um, but we also have, I'm kind of come over here. Yeah, please. Okay. Let's see what okay. we have. And she also blessed us by uh, picking the leaves off of the parsley. Okay. So I'm going to give you a nice big blob of parsley. I like it. Okay, my hands are all sticky from the, well, the garlic. And I'll take that. That okay. was mine. Okay. And then what else you have in front of you? You've okay. Got, okay, the time, so we don't have to do, but. Here's a beautiful thyme. Mm -hmm. I use thyme in so many things. Yeah. And I'll actually sometimes I'll just throw the whole, just throw the whole stem in. Okay. Just don't worry just about it. Let it go. Yeah. All right. Nice. You know, you, you can try to pull some of the leaves off, but yeah. there's so much flavor in the stem mm -hmm. too. And then right. I figured during the cooking time, the leaves kind of disintegrate and come off of it anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then here we have this other one. That was a devil to find today. What is that? 
What is that? <laughs> smells nice. Yeah, it smells nice? Yeah. Does it remind you of anything? I'll give you a hint. Hmm. Okay. It is uh, used in vinegar sometimes. Hmm. Um, do you like Bernays sauce? I do. It's in there too. Okay. Is that, that flavor, that smell? Yeah. Reminiscent? Okay. And here's another one. Don't want to put you on the spot. But here, smell this one. Look okay. at that one. And what do you think that one is? It's fun Ooh, to do this, this blind, you know, blindfolded. Yeah. And just trying to figure out what. Oh. <laughs> This, well, everything smells original? like garlic. Yes, yes, see, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, you know, you know, but yeah, tarragon. 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 Estragon. Really? Yeah. Isn't I don't think beautiful? I've ever used it before, but it I, is beautiful. It's beautiful. I can't grow this stuff. I tried. Is it right? I don't know why. It doesn't like me. I can't, I can't grow cilantro either, which is very upsetting because I like it a lot. Mm -hmm, that is good. Um, so now we're going to pick off the leaves of the oregano. Okay. If you don't have fresh herbs, that's okay. Mm -hmm. You can use dry. Mm-hmm, yeah. But just remember, you know, the dried herbs don't last forever in, your, okay. in that dark cabinet. Okay. So it definitely may be, mm, what is it, six months, do they say, the shelf life? I don't know. I okay. have that have been in there for yeah. several years. Me too. <laughs> I, no, no, no lie. Yep. Yeah. Okay. They just, I guess, lose their potency. Okay. And they discolor. But it's true. I think I had some old day. <laughs> I collect cans, so I had an old, you know. Yeah can of Old Bay and it was like from one of their anniversaries and it was so cute and there mm -hmm. was still some some Old Bay in it and <laughs> I think we we were here in the kitchen making uh, Maryland crab soup because Ooh, we have a nice heart wow. healthy Maryland crab soup. That sounds good. And um, <laughs> one of our VPs grabbed it off the shelf and 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 tried to put it in her um, her cream of crab soup and clearly <laughs> <laughs> she could see immediately that it was not a pretty color. <laughs> um, I'm like, no, no, don't use don't that use one. It. No, 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 not that one. <laughs> so, but I still have the can. Sure, yeah. So the tarragon is very strong. We don't need a lot of that. Okay. I can't remember. How, how much tarragon does it, the recipe say? Teaspoon of this, teaspoon of that. Yeah. Something right. like that. Got it. Yeah. And we're just peeling the leaves off of the yeah, stem on this know, as I, well. Okay. Leave the stem. Okay. Save some. Yeah. I like the oregano. I want a lot of oregano. And then we've got this, and I'm going to wad it all up in a bunch. Okay. This is how I like to chop it up. Parsley. Well, you can just never have. See how I, I got my hands kind of, yeah, again, they're the curls. fingers. Yeah, okay. And it's easier to chop it all up when it's in this mass. Okay, and, and are you looking to chop it finely or or nah. just sort of a coarse? Yeah, it's comfort food. Right. Nothing has to be. Mm -hmm. It's not fine French cuisine. We're just <laughs> going for get it in the oven, you know, so yep. we can eat it, right? I like it. Because everybody's hungry. Well, it you smells know. really good. It's funny with the, with a lot of the home family recipes. I mean, is there even a recipe? written down somewhere? I, I don't know. A lot of the dishes I make that mm -hmm. are traditional family dishes, I right. there's, there's no recipe. Just do it. Just kind of eyeball it. Well, that's what my mom would put in. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It was just a little smidgen of this and a, you know, a dribble of that. Yeah, and then it tastes great. Yeah. You know, it just works. There you go. I'm trying to think. We got our garlic. I think we, I, our time's already done. Okay. So we can put the. You got a little bowl over there. Let's just. Okay. And put your dump your thyme in there. All and right. And then we'll have them all. They're all ready. Ho 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 ho. Very good. And then I'm just gonna wipe this off in here. And I think Great. our chopping days, at least for the vegetables, oh, excuse me, are over. Okay. 
not right here. Here are the towels. Yeah, let's do that. Thank did you. I give you two towels over there? I thought I did. Oh, maybe I'm missing them. That's fine. But Nothing is, you know, contaminating. Right, you right. Know, so far, we right, it's all Yeah, we haven't, no, we haven't yeah. gone to chicken land. But I did mm. want to show you since tarragon, not tarragon, but turmeric is one of our ingredients. Okay. Look That's at this. interesting. Wow. Look at this. That is I, really nice. I don't think I've ever seen it so fresh except for when it was live. I was able to find some at one of the, the farmer's markets. Is that right? Here, um, Chesapeake. Very nice. They delivered it. I mean, it's like, a, it looks like ginger. Yeah. It does look like ginger, I yeah. agree. Hmm. Beautiful. It so let's, let's leave that one whole, because it's okay. gorgeous. Okay. But check that one out. Yeah. Rip one off, check it out. Okay. Hmm, that's interesting. I mean, and yeah. the, the medicinal values of turmeric just mm -hmm. are, Oh, you know, like off the charts. Like, dates back thousands of years this has been used, hasn't it? Yeah. Well, that's that's yeah. a really cool thing about, I think, spices in general. Mm -hmm. They were all originally for medicinal purposes. Yeah. It wasn't flavor at first. Mm -hmm. It was it was for health. All and for health, yeah, health benefits. Yeah. And it's really nice to see that we're going back to that. Mm -hmm. it's, I find that very exciting. I agree. Yeah. I agree. And then all the combinations put together, um, you know, make them work together mm -hmm. in wonderful ways. I know that with Indian cuisine, particularly, right? They're they're specially paired, and mm -hmm. it be they become even more beneficial. I mean, their cuisine is what, four thousand years old, You're right? So they've been practicing. <laughs> um, so uh, I think uh, we're good. All okay. of our choppy choppies done. If you okay. want to take that little finger home, okay? Yeah, I'd love to. Thank you. Yeah, you can make some tea with it. You could put it in your smoothie. Oh yeah. It's easy to peel. You probably don't, it's so fresh, you probably don't even have to peel it. Wow. Peel, no peel? You peel yours? No, you just oh. throw it in. Very nice. Yeah. It's delicious with orange juice and with oh. carrots. So we've got great a great idea making, don't we? A great oh, idea. Oh, and some ginger. I okay, like I, what I'd like us to do is mm -hmm. actually get this on the stove and start um, okay. sauteing it. So let's okay. carry all of our well, I actually do have a tray. I was okay. trying to be organized. Put all your mise en okay. place. Thank you. Which is a fancy term for all of the ingredients. Oh, So all we right. have, you have, we got a lot of carrots. We made a lot of carrots. Of carrots. <laughs> we have lots of herbage. I don't think you can have too much herbage. Okay, we okay. have garlic and turmeric in, in here. Yeah, and you can grab the peas okay. and the salt free. Seasoning. Okay, excellent. We got it, we got it. I think we got it. And we have some, all, you may want a spoon. Okay. This guy? Ding. Yeah, there's one over there. One, one over there? there? Perfect, all right. There's one over here. Excellent. Yeah, you, you, go ahead, yeah. Thank you, thank you. You're taller than me. <laughs> so you just put it down here, I suppose. Okay. And this is a burner we're going to use. Very nice. You have to do the honors if you can tell which one's which. <laughs> wow, that is interesting. Uh, I like that. So you push, push it in. Nope. Oh, that, that was the wrong back? one. That was the wrong okay, one. That's it. Push it. one. Usually you push it in and turn it. That was it. They got okay, it. We, we got, got it. it. All right. Great. 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 To keep it up high? or? Well, I don't think we we don't need it that high. Okay. Uh, but we do need to put some um, olive oil in it. Okay. So one of those has olive oil in it. All right. Smell that one. Look at the color of that. Is it I know, it is. I thought it was like absinthe or something. <laughs> Go near. <laughs> Pretty mm. close. Is that right? Pretty close. What does it smell like? Not olive oil. No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a... not olive oil. What is it? It's called Pernod. Okay. So we're putting a little Pernod in it. Very so interesting. I'm not familiar with have, it. It has a little bit of a licorice flavor. Okay. So kind of like like gal, that's the French version. It does have a licorice mm -hmm. smell to it. Yeah. Very nice. It's funny because I was thinking of putting fennel in it. I thought fennel would be kind of nice. Oh. But that's mm -hmm. de deviating. But I was shocked to to. Uh, and then I decanted it, and mm -hmm. then I, the color. Yes. Was crazy. Yes. Wow. A real okay. nice yellow. So we will put some of that in. Okay. But first, let's let's uh, put at least a tablespoon 
in the bottom of this pan. Okay. You can eyeball it. I trust right. you. Thank you. In our beautiful casting. Oh, that was a teaspoon. That was definitely not a teaspoon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Coat the bottom. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Thank See? you. There you go. Coat the bottom. Fabulous. Okay. We don't really need it to be like super, super hot heat. Mm -hmm. And basically, we're just going to kind of dump everything just put it in. Put all it. in. Okay. Um, in a particular order. Hey, let's start with the onions. All right, onions it is. I, li I like to start with onions. All right, here we go. Just because we could get fancy all and right. kind of caramelize them a little bit, but. Okay. Uh uh. We, we nope, want to eat, just go. so we're going to, you know. Just keep moving. We keep moving. All right. We'll do that. My, my, you know. My grandmother would be like, that, let's just put it all in. Oh, all right. Yep, go on, go okay, on. Okay. put it all in. Carrots, carrots coming in. I want carrots. Yeah. It's going to make Ooh, it very man. pretty, too. Yes. A little more carrot. Stir it up. There we oh, go. Oh, okay, now we're going to have a lot of carrot. A lot of carrot. <laughs> a lot of carrot. <laughs> all right. Here, I'm going to crank it up now. Okay, here we're coming in. With cranking it up. I think carrot. I'm going to need some flour. Okay. Yeah. And right. or it, the flour. Four tablespoons of flour. That's all right. All right. And flour. Or maybe I could just use this. Flour, flour. Oh, and stock. Okay. But okay. first I need some flour. Spices going in? Absolutely. All Here, right. I'll leave you a spoon. A, a spoon. Thank you. Here, there's you. your spoon. Yeah, I'll get to work on that. And then you can keep that one in there. Okay. And if you think you need any a little bit more olive oil, that's fine. Okay. All right. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, it's amazing how it all mixes up and, and you start to smell the everything coming together here. Wow. Oh, I turned you up. Are we too high? Are we too high? Are we too low? That's good. Okay. How's it smell? Oh yeah, it's nice and green. It is, isn't it? It is. Was that half a cup of parsley? Mm, oh, I might have gotten a little, little dirty more. <laughs> But it's fine. Yeah. If there's more vegetables, that's right? Fine. Yes. You know, there's, I agree. like I said, there's no cream going in this. You know, mm -hmm. the typical, you know, chicken pot pie has kind of a creamy base. Right. And, you know, it, that could be a, a, a white you know, bechamel. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be cream, but with okay. you know, it's a milk base. But right. But serious, there's still fat. Mm -hmm. But we're not. We don't have any of that. I like it. But we are going to put some flour in there. Okay. Because we do want it to be kind of um, um, thick. Okay. So, mm -hmm. I believe it gets four. Okay. Tablespoons. Right. Here comes two. Carefully measuring these out. Mm-hmm. Carefully. <laughs> and I think this is actually gluten-free. Okay. So, um, always trying to be considerate mm -hmm. of people who um, are gluten intolerant, and so mm -hmm. there's no reason why they can't try this too. Absolutely. Oh, stir, 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 okay. faster, faster. Okay, all right, here Remember, we go. Remember, sc and scrape the bottom. Okay. Scrape the bottom. If you need a little bit of- We may. More olive oil. A little more in there. It's okay. All right. It's not butter. Right. <laughs> Good point. I'm gonna turn you down. So you want it to kind of sweat a little bit. Okay. And you want that kind of flour to cook a little bit. Mm-hmm. Get out of that kind of flour flavor. Right. And of course, it's not really flour. It's sort of a, a combination of rice flour and um, they put a, quite a few different kinds of uh, flours in the oh, gluten free. I see. Blend. Okay. I mean, the list is I can't. Cassava flour. There's, there's so many alternatives now. It's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Almond flour. Oh. Um, you know, for savory. I'll only put a little bit in, like if I was doing mm -hmm. a crust. I see. So that's okay. okay. How does that that come in? I think it looks wonderful. It's kind of sticking a little bit to the bottom, though. That's okay. See, there's a lot of there's a lot of flavor in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You smell it? Yes, it's good. Boy, that mm. smells good. Yeah, it does smell good. Okay. So we're gonna put in our broth. All right. Oh, no, 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 we have to put in this first. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. We're deglazing. Okay. I think we could deglaze with a quarter cup of perno. Okay. 
Look at that. Isn't that wild? Yeah, it is. Quarter cup. Okay. Okay. So yeah, burning off the alcohol. Look. Oh, you did it. Look, look at yeah. Scrape that bottom. Mm -hmm. Scrape that bottom. Get that up. Because that's all that good stuff is down there. The flavor down there. You betcha. Yeah. All right. This is on 375. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's great. Okay, now when I add more of this, that's gonna be even better. Yeah. I agree. Look at that. There we go. Let me crank that up to a boil. Okay. Sometimes it's better if you um, actually add like a warm stock. Is that right? Oftentimes I have the stock already on the stove. Okay, the so it's coming in, coming in warm. Coming in warm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Things don't seize up, and it works mm. a lot faster. That's good to know. Right, and the turmeric's giving us a neat color too. It is, isn't it? So I cranked it up. Okay. And I think we're going to let this simmer for about five minutes or so. Okay. And while that's simmering, we're going to cut up the chicken. Wonderful. All so right. We're going to move back over here. Okay. And cut up some chicken. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, you're not all afraid right. at all. Let's do it. I said to cut it in two inch chunks. I'm like, that's a lot. Yeah. Oh, we forgot to put our mushrooms in, y'all. <laughs> mushrooms going in. Going in. All right. Yeah, they were they, they were right under our nose. I know, right? right. Literally. <laughs> right under our nose. I hate yeah. it when that happens. I love this bowl. It's beautiful. Whatever. Okay, let me stir that up All again. Right. Stir that up. All right. Mushroom. So you're saying two two inch chunks for the chicken? Is that right? That's what the recipe said. Okay, so that's chunks. Man. <laughs> that's some chunks. Yeah. What do you yeah. think? What should what, what should we do? I don't. I wonder why they would say two inch chunks. I'm definitely more inclined to say like one inch chunks. Okay. So. Yeah. I guess you are too. Yeah, I'm with oh, you. I hate that. <laughs> Once you touch the chicken, everything is contaminated. Mm -hmm. So we'll yeah. just put it back in there and then okay. we'll, we'll dump it in here. Okay. So I'm going to cut it in three All strips. Right. These look actually quite beautiful. Well, it's first yeah. to see is there any, they're like, it's not a speck of fat. That's what I was just thinking. This. Really just lean, lean. There's one little bit here, and I'm just going to pretend I did not see that. Mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes a tiny little bit of fat, mm -hmm. a little bit of flavor. All yeah, right. some nice chunks. And the, the beauty of the charm is that we're just dumping this right in to right the mixture. Right in, okay. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Easy so, is good. But just and then, and then everything. All of the contaminated stuff could just go to the sink. Mm -hmm. okay. But just remember, we can't, you can't really touch anything now. Right, because right. Because you've got chicken hands. Mm -hmm. Salmonella city. Yes. That's what I call it. Oh yeah, there we go. Duh. Right Easy. in there. Salmonella city. Okay. But you didn't get any on the cutting board underneath, which mm -hmm. is good because yep. that's what we're gonna make our... Uh... Okay. Yeah, you ready to dump yeah, that Yeah, bring it over and add it right in there. All right, here we go. In goes the chicken. Turn up a little bit. All right. Wonderful. Okay. This is a lot. Yes. Oh, okay, I know we did go over about a cup or two. But this is but comfort food. It's, yeah, it's a, you know, it's, it feeds eight, like we said. Yeah. So typically, the recipe said it would go into a large, like, oval. Okay. Um, that holds three quarts. Okay. Wow. And I don't have that. All right. And this is what we have. So this is going, it's going in our little, our little pie dishes. And if that's not enough, we'll put it in another one. Okay. We got, we got pie dishes now. We got little miniature ones. I thought it'd be really cute to put this in, you know, little miniature ones. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Uh, which, which would be possible. Um, I just said I, I want I want to see how much crust we get. Okay. All right. Yeah. Let's see how that goes. But and then, I, I and like then that. making miniatures, putting the crust on miniatures, mm -hmm. would uh, might take us all night. <laughs> Little snack size though. Yeah. No, I've got some. Right? I'll, I'll show you the size. Okay. Yeah. That's good. We got the raw chicken in. Okay. We're making it ourselves. Okay. Uh, 
there's always going to be a huge difference. I mean, mm. it's store-bought stuff. They're definitely going to put in more sodium. Mm -hmm. But we're doing this at home. Okay. So it's okay if we add just like an eighth of a teaspoon yeah, of salt. So. Okay. Right? Yeah. I mean, we really didn't put any salt in anything. No. No, we haven't. And all of the ingredients are fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. and, and the ingredients we used don't have a lot of sodium in them naturally. So right. So we can add a little. I always forget that. Mm -hmm. Some vegetables actually have natural sodium oh, in them. Oh, so we have to watch out for that. Yeah, Amy, yeah. Amy reminded me of that. Very nice. And it's vegetables that I happen to love. Is that right? Go figure. Which vegetables tomatoes. have sodium? Tomatoes. Tomatoes are good, but they have sodium. Maybe that's why you don't have to put salt on them. <laughs> yeah, you know, right? You're right. You know, they I really pop don't. them like. Boy, yeah. I'll put out a bowl of the, you know, the cherries and. Mm, right, right out of the garden. So I didn't know. And then I think I read green beans too. Is that right? No, well. Interesting. No. Okay, no. good to know though. Do we have any others besides the green beans and the tomatoes that have other vegetables that have sodium? Little salt, you go first. Okay, all right. Little salt in your flour. In the flour, okay. Dump the flour in your bowl first. Here we go. We're gonna do that. Uh, you okay. could sift it, you know, there but you that's go. not, uh, we don't right. have to. So a little bit of, little bit of salt, okay? Okay, yeah. That was just a tiny bit. Yes. And now you have your, I can't believe it isn't butter, butter. Okay. Smart balance, uh, whichever one you prefer mm. that works. Okay. Whether it's the olive oil flavor, but okay. this, this is what, keep it chilled, mm -hmm. you know, up until, you're using it, and this is the this is the old fashioned. This is grandma's technique. Okay. okay. Says to use a uh, pastry cutter. Mm-hmm. You ever seen one of those? No, I haven't. It it has this handle and and then, and it's curved like this. Okay. Then it has like three like sword blades, kind of. It's hard to. Yeah. And it would roll in a bowl. Oh, I see. Yeah. I bet, I bet your, your grandmother has more. I'm sure. You're like, what's I'm that? Sure. <laughs> exactly. What that um, well, I find them to be a pain because all of the stuff gets stuck in them and then you always got to get the knife mm. and, and scrape it out. Okay. So I'm going to show you the, you know, the classic okay. way that my mother taught me. Okay. And it's just, you, we're cutting, this is a technique, we're cutting the butter, whatever, not butter. Um, Yes, okay. Yep. Usually it's butter when I make the pie. <laughs> uh, cutting the butter into, but I, I'm trying something new, mm -hmm. and I believe my flour is gluten free, correct? Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is typically a little harder to work with. I think yours is regular, right? Okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. Yours is regular flour, mine is not. Uh, okay. So you want, we, what we're looking for is the, the margarine to be kind of the pea size. I see, okay. So look, you got it, you're cutting it. We're working on it. He's cutting it. Then I need to move it around a little bit. Yeah. Cut, 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 cut. Okay. Peas. Some people do this with their hands. Okay. But don't do this if you have hot hands. Some pastry chefs have hot hands, so <laughs> you don't want the butter to, margarine to be all melty mm. you know, before you start rolling it. Right. It'll make it uh, torturous mm -hmm. to work with. Okay. And it'll stick to everything, and we don't want that. No. So you're, you're very adventurous to do this with us today. <laughs> it's fun. I almost threw out the whole pie crust idea. I'm like, nope, that's it. We're making chicken pot pie with biscuits on top. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds good too. I know, right? Yeah. And believe it or not, we have a heart healthy biscuit recipe. Oh, very nice. But I, I, di I didn't scrap it. I decided to go through with it. All right. And then I, fi I figure if it's all, you know, if it doesn't work out because I haven't tested this recipe, 
I haven't tested the, the crust before. Mm -hmm. But I am seasoned at making crust. Wow, that's great. I think one of the, the hardest part is getting the darn thing rolled out and getting it on top okay. of your pie. All right. right. That is, that's the tricky part. So I think mine looks pretty good. Okay. Oh, yeah. How does yours look? I think it looks pretty good as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, great. Now we can add. <laughs> looks good. Don't. Boop, boop, boop. Here yeah, we go. it does. Yeah. Now I'm going to add three tablespoons okay. of ice. Ice water again. We want these cool. Mm -hmm. Maybe okay. a half because this is a very strange tablespoon. Okay. Again, cold, cold, cold. Do we have a spoon? Yes, you have a spoon there. Okay. And I don't. I'm using my hands. All right. So you can stir yours with your spoon. Okay. Really just want to get enough water in here so that we can get it to stay together. I see. There's okay. a very fine balance here. And then, of course, if you overwork it, it's going to be tough. Mm. So. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go with a little bit more. So I've added like three and a half. And I'm going to four here. Okay. Yeah, I may have to add a little more as well. And I'm actually going to put my parchment down. I have two pieces. And I'm going to put it down on my cutting board. Okay. And when you dump yours out, put it, um, put the parchment down on your okay. board. Okay, all right. And then hopefully this might work. Let's see. I know it doesn't look like much right now. <laughs> I'm going to try to get this to become a cohesive unit. Try. <laughs> <laughs> and this is where the bench scraper comes in handy. Okay. You see how it's getting all over my hand? We don't yeah. want that. Okay. So really just kind of go in here and maybe fold it over. Oh. Trying to, we might need a little extra flour, but maybe not. Folding it over. All right. It's kind of coming together. Sometimes it's easier just to do it on straight on top of the cutting board, but mm -hmm. this is what the recipe said, I believe. <laughs> so I'm either gonna try it or I'm gonna get frustrated, like right now, and just take it off, because that's a pain in the neck. I'm gonna try to get mine so it's more cohesive and then okay. put it on there. How does that sound? Yeah, How's I, I yours think- it's coming together? It seems to be coming. I wasn't sure at the beginning, but I have to say, it does seem to be coming along. Turn it over again. That's why they call this a pastry cutter, right? All right. Okay. Looking, looking good. I had a little extra flour. Okay. Yours, is, yours looks a little dry. Okay. Should I add a little bit more yeah. water to it? Here, let me try. Here. Oh, look at that. Very good. Wow. Ideally, like I said, this one is a little tricky to work with. You can already see it's kind of, kind of cracks a little bit. Maybe, maybe it'll roll out for me. We'll see. We will see. Okay. But normally I would put this in the refrigerator and let it rest. Sometimes I even put it in the freezer 
so it gets cool, stays mm. cool. Of course, there's really no gluten that needs to rest, right? Mm. <laughs> but in that one, there will be. Okay. Yeah. Let me see if I can, I can, are you getting it? You've got a bowl? I don't know. We're, we're, you got a bowl. We're getting there. Check it out. What do you think? You want to just try it on your on the cutting board, straight on the cutting board? Yeah, I think so. I feel you can get that into, um, if you need a little bit of. Yes, thank you. There you go. Chuck it, I got another okay, one. Okay, great. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm actually doing pretty well so far. <laughs> got flour on you? A little bit, a little bit. I ain't doing great. Yeah, okay. On your face? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> But it's early. <laughs> so you don't want it to dry out either. I'm going to cover it up just a little bit here. Again, see that would go in the fridge and chill. Okay. Then I'll just, just scrape everything off. These are great for cleaning, you know, Ooh, the table, yeah, everything. Yeah, right. You think it, um, it wants to meet its maker yet? <laughs> I think so. Man, yeah, please. Where's your pastry scraper? There we go. Okay. Good job, you. I know. I just That's left a little right. behind there. Yeah. That's all right. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe my George, I think he's got it. <laughs> so let's lift that. Use your scraper okay, yep. and yeah, lift, lift it, it up. up. Okay. And put it, and now we're going to. Take it off. I think we're done with these. Okay. We're done with that. All so let right. me help you out. Thank you. Move that over here. It said use plastic wrap. Okay. So typically you could yeah, put this you know, plastic wrap on top mm -hmm. and on bottom. I see. But you know me, I'm just so stubborn. I am. Um, I've, I've never done it like that. Okay. Um, hopefully I don't mess it up. But I'm going to put a little flour on my okay. rolling pin. And you've got some there, right? Oh, you don't have flour. I don't. Needs, so use mine. I have flour yours. Thank you. Use mine. There Perfect. we go. We'll, we'll, we'll put it in the middle here. We're sharing, we're sharing flour. All right. It's just going to hopefully help it so this doesn't stick. Okay. Okay. Put yes. a little bit on. Now, yeah, rolling. Mm hmm You rolled dough out before? I haven't. Not even Play-Doh? <laughs> Maybe Play-Doh. <laughs> there, there yeah, this, this is your grandma's rolling pin. Yes. If you would rather use grandma's rolling pin. No, no, I'm going to learn. You want, okay. I, I want to learn today. The, these are the French rolling pins. Okay. Okay, because we're fancy we, we. So just gently back and forth. Okay. Just not too hard. And then turn it. All right. So try to try to be even. Yeah. Turn it. The idea okay. is to get a circle. Okay. So you could do quarter turns. You don't want it to get sticky if it looks like it's getting sticky. Mm-hmm. A little more flour. More flour. All right. Roll it in the deep here. Three quarter turns. If the top of it needs more flour. Turn it, turn it. Okay. And we're going we're going for this size. <laughs> got it. That's what we're All trying right. to get. All right. Behave. I've you got some there, work right? to do. Going for this size. Not too thin. Okay. Here it's comfort food, so it's okay if it's not perfect, right? Of course. All right. Of course. And we always have backup. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm excited about the, the gluten-free one. Yeah. I think it's really cool to be able to have options and be able to do things. Absolutely. For everybody. Mm-hmm. You know, making it fat-free, making it low-sodium, making right. it gluten-free. Mm-hmm. I mean, you Absolutely. can't please all the people all the time, but 
Yeah, but a lot of options. A lot of options. Make it possible. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, I think it's kind of discouraging to go to the grocery store and to not be able to find things that you can eat. Right. And not know about the options and the alternatives Mm -hmm. that are out there. Right, and there are a lot now, which is really nice. Rice flour has been around for a long time. Rice, rice noodles are wonderful. Yeah, agree. All right, how's yours coming? Well, look at you. Yeah. Look at him. <laughs> Not quite a circle, He's but. He's an expert. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're getting That's there. A competition here today. <laughs> I love it. Mike, you're doing a, doing an amazing job. No, I appreciate it, but I don't think yeah, I'm going to quit my day job. Oh no, you, I know. I want you, you're going to come back, right? <laughs> oh yeah, this is good. Hey, this is uh, this is what we do. We we enjoy it, and then the, you know you get to take this, all of these wonderful dishes back home yeah. and eat them. Wow! We have in-person classes here in the kitchen. Oh, very nice. Yeah, every week. That's wonderful. We're, uh, we're start, we just started to add some daytime classes for uh, people that you know are more prone to the daytime. Mm-hmm. Uh, we always have um, at least one class in the evening to accommodate people's work schedules so you That's can wonderful. come at night. Very nice. And then for those of us, uh, for those of you out there that, like I said, don't don't live in Baltimore or close enough, we have virtual classes. So please join us. Yeah. And it's really cool because uh, all of the, the virtual classes that we do are also uploaded onto our YouTube channel. Oh, how nice. So you can, you can watch tonight uh, at a later date yeah. um, at the Simple Cooking with Heart YouTube channel, which I believe is on the um, Maryland, um, American Heart Association of Maryland's website. So you just go to the, their website and then we have a whole channel. Awesome, check it out. It is, yeah, yeah. And, and, this, and this will be on it. Do you think this will fit? Do you think? Oh, that's Jeez, good. I like I that. Know. It's already pretty thin, right? Good Lord. Okay. All right. All right. I'll keep, keep going. rolling. I'll keep, keep rolling. rolling. Rolling, keep rolling, rolling, rolling. And we're rolling. How do you like the the flush rolling pin? I like it a lot. Yours is not cracking. Mine no. is not cracking. Mine's not a circle, though, either. This is incredible. It's not a circle. <laughs> no, it's not a circle. <laughs> okay, mine is not exactly a perfect circle either. But yeah, I think maybe we might want to, I might want to check on our, um, oh, yeah. Our food over here, see what's happening. We, ne- Whoa, we neglected that. it for a tad. Wow. That uh, smell. smell. Yeah, right? That is fancy. Yes, it does. <laughs> I mean, and, and it's a, I mean, we've deviated somewhat. It does mm-hmm. smell a little bit different, you know? Yeah, Than the it traditional does. chicken pot pie. It does. But I like the look. It's chunky. It I'll looks it. It looks uh, meaty. And I think we should taste it. Here okay. Taste Thank it. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be hot, though. Okay. Just, and the chicken's cooked. Okay. Oh, it smells needs good. Cooker. All right, don't burn your tongue. Okay. Okay. Hmm. As I dribble all over mm. my <laughs> Wow, that's good. What do you think? It's good. yummy. It is. A lot of I flavor mean, in normally there. Normally I say, it's salt. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a lot of flavor though. I mean, it's really not lacking. And we didn't add salt. And we didn't. That's right. But it's good. I mean, we did use some low sodium chicken broth. Okay. So we, there is a little bit mm-hmm. there. Right. Um, and you can you can avoid that by making your own. That's right. Which I do quite mm-hmm. a bit. Mm-hmm. So that is that is nice. Um, yeah. Okay, don't tell anybody, but I'm going in stirring up. Yeah, yeah. It's just family here. <laughs> so it's not really that thick. Right, there's still some fluid in, in there. Yeah. And, and so. Maybe it's not supposed to be. I do know that I think the um, the thickening properties mm-hmm. with the gluten free oh, flour, maybe a bit I think different. is a little bit different. Yeah. I don't quite know if it's a one to one ratio. 
Right. Um, but that sure smells good. It does. It sure smells good. Yes. And I'm just hoping and praying that this is going to be big enough to fit on All right. fit on top of my. If sometimes if, if it cracks, mm -hmm. you know, I just kind of try to squeeze it back together. Hello. And it's still cool, so this is good. All right. And it's going to be fun. <laughs> okay. I may want to put it on a tray. I'm thinking. Okay, this is this is the tricky part. Okay. Getting this and putting it on top. Okay, but first we do need to get these filled. Okay. Um, and we need it to be close to our dough. All right. So, yeah, I'll, you, I'll tell you what I do. Sometimes you just, I'll put some more flour on here. Okay. But you have to work quickly. And I would like, roll it up. Wow. Roll it up. Maybe a little more flour on here. Roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. Okay. And we'll see how that works. Wow. And then put a towel down here, and I think we need a ladle. All right. Doesn't work. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll just this we'll unroll the other ones, and we'll have a <laughs> topping. This is Thank an advanced you. move. I like it. I think okay, you do have a, so okay. you'll be good. All Back right. Here. That's great. Okay. All right. Okay. One for you. Thank you. You need to put it down, put it down. Okay. Turn that off. Don't burn yourself. Thank you. But nothing's hot but this and that. Okay. And now we're gonna scoopy, scoop all this. Yeah, look at that. This unique deliciousness and to our dishes. Okay. Yeah, I thought uh, it, the recipe also said that you could serve this on top of a, a bed of mashed potatoes. Hmm, okay. Which I thought was, have you ever had chicken pot pie on top of mashed potatoes? I have not. I have not no. either. I thought that was no. so weird. <laughs> the biscuits, yes. Ah! Yes. Low sodium American, but you can't have biscuits because we have a crust. Right. So we cannot no, have doing, biscuits. No, with no, this. we're doing the crust. We're gonna have to have something else that's heart healthy. Yes. And if it um, could be on some cauliflower rice. Oh. You know, pureed cauliflower. All right. Yeah. Or it could be on. You ever had celery root? Oh yeah, that's interesting as well. I love celery root. Mm -hmm. This actually, I think, would lend itself very nicely. Yeah. Okay, I think I took more than you. Maybe a little. <laughs> oh, we go. thank you. Get some more chunks, or I could give you some more of my chunks. Oh, I think that's gonna be Take just some chunks fine. out of mine. Yeah, no, this is. I think it looks all right. This is good. Well, yeah. Can you give me a few chunks? I'm gonna give you some more chunks. I'll take them. There em. we go. I'll take them. And I think that's fabulous. Okay. Excellent. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Back. Okay. Careful. Careful. All right. All right is right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> now what? Okay. Drum roll. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to start here. Okay. And unravel it across. Wow. Wow. I got, I got one quack. I am impressed. I got a quack. I am Benny Quacky. Not too okay. bad, not too bad. This is doing great. great. Look at you. Ooh. Yes. Wow. Look yes. At that. Man. Mark <laughs> is a pro. <laughs> yeah, see, mine, mine, I'm, mine, I was not even, so I'm going to have to steal some from over here to put over here, which I'm fine with. Okay. I'm fine with that. That's how we do it. Do you have any that's fallen over? A little bit, yeah, I do. So sometimes I'll just move that over to an area okay. that isn't populated. 
Yeah. Or you can cut it off. Okay. Yours looks well, beautiful. I'm gonna move it over. So then, you know, this has a natural fluting. Mm -hmm. um, so you could turn it over and then oh, just see. do the thumb thing. Oh, wow. So where the fluting is, you wanna stick your thumb and pinch it all the way around. Sometimes I do it better than others. Sometimes I don't <laughs> follow where the... <laughs> Sometimes I use my finger and not my thumb. Okay. I thought the, the fluted ones would be prettier. There you go. My George. I'm very impressed. All right. Okay, fold that over. So mine's already got a nice big old crack in it. But it looks nice. But we need to put, you need to put a slit in it anyway. Is that right? Yeah, because okay. you want the steam to come out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Some people put forks, you know, get a fork and go around the edge, oh, which is okay. which is nice too. Mm -hmm. Yours looks fabulous. Mm, no. Absolutely fabulous. So I think you're ready to I have a, I need a little bit, a little knife. Okay. What did I use? I used doo -doo 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 -doo. a big knife. I could use this. So, definitely needs a little poke in the middle. Okay. Okay. All right. And then sometimes I'll just go around and make some little slits. Oh. You know, whether or S's. I've been known to do S's on a lot of things, Very you know, nice. or just that in the middle is all it's okay. you need. Okay, all right. Yeah. So okay. Fabulous. It looks great. I'm not gonna do. This is your work of art. <laughs> all right, here we this go. This is your work of art. <laughs> Love it. All right. Mine looks like kakatudu. And now we already have a, an egg wash. Okay. And we definitely want to. Gently go around. And does this help it brown, or yeah. is that what that? Okay, yeah. all right. And you don't have to, but it looks kind of anemic. Sorry, we only have one. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I got the smudges. <laughs> I got okay. I look like I've been working with some flour. <laughs> it's always good to wash it. Okay. And then we've got um, a preheated oven. Yeah, I believe to 375. Okay, and you just kind of get that all over the, kind of yeah, cover just everything with it, just a light coating. Go around, very okay. light. This was one egg, and we're not even going to use it all. Okay. There you go. Well, excellent, thank you. All right. I I'm like gonna wash it. my hands. Okay. <laughs> Be gentle. Okay, gentle. Like, like it's a baby's bottom. <laughs> got it, got it. Gentle. Very gentle. Yeah, I've got flour oh, everywhere right. now. I'm, uh, my cuticles. So how long does it take you to scrub up? Two minutes. Wait, before surgery? Yep, two minutes of scrubbing. Two minutes? Yeah. I guess that's... Happy birthday. When you sing happy birthday, how long is that? That's about probably minutes. a little more than 30 seconds. Yeah. Around 30 oh, okay. seconds. So this is a real deep scrub. That's a, that's a serious yeah. scrub. Yeah. Uh, scrub brush, heavy, more than heavy soap. Happy birthday. We really get those hands clean before we head into surgery. That's All right. 24. All right. 24. Thank you. Yeah, well, we'll get a picture of that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm learning from the master. I like that. No, it was just great. You did a great job. I'm totally impressed. So, yeah, we're going to go, our oven is on, 375. Okay, great. So, uh, we're going to put it in, and then um, I usually check it after 25 minutes, 20 minutes. Okay. Because sometimes the outer rim mm -hmm. will cook more. Oh, okay. And you don't want it to burn. Mm. So, you could, uh, at this point, you could kind of cover it with some aluminum foil, okay. put it back in, and let it cook the rest of the time. 
while everything else gets brown. I know, Very nice. So beautiful. All right. All right. To the oven. Shouldn't be too hot. Okay, no, it's not. Um, a little bit, but not too bad. Get this over. I think I've got a pan in here. Okay. So if our goodness bubbles over, I see a it, little. It will be captured. Yes, little catch pan below makes cleanup easier. Exactly. All right. Um, not a huge fan of cleaning ovens. <laughs> yes. Put some knee action in it, so we may get some bubble over. All right. But we got them both side to side. Yeah, if you're doing two at once, sometimes it's mm -hmm. also good to turn it. Okay, in yeah. In the middle of, of cooking, or okay. if you were using just one of the big ovals, mm -hmm. and turn it. Give it a turn. And check it. Ovens cook. Mm -hmm. Ovens can be wonky. Got it. They cook differently. <laughs> I'm going to open the oven for you. Okay. All and right. we're going to go in. Let's okay. see what we got. Well, let's see what we got. Uh, we have a beautiful... Wow. Uh, you're going to have to bend All down there. All right. I, you've got the oven mitts. All right. I got the mitts. Yeah. Oh, boy. Look at that. Okay. We're, we're, we're kind of tr wow. uh, tricky here. Look how gorgeous that yes. is. Yes. We Beautiful. actually had... We made one a little earlier. Mm-hmm. Okay. Save a little little time because it does take 40 minutes All to right. cook. So I came in early and slaved over it, and, <laughs> and now we have a beautiful hero or, or swap out, as, the, as they call it in okay. the professional world, of uh, culinary production. <sighs> but it's a beautiful, beautiful dinner. Looks wonderful. And I, I want you to do the honors. Okay. It's like, what do you dig in with? You dig in I with know, a spoon do or? Do you dig in with the spoon or do you use the, the, the spatula? I, I think I'm going to go with the spatula just to, to break to the ice. To make it precise, to yeah, break the ice. Yeah, very precise here. Okay, I like, I right. like that. All right. I like that. Because, you know, the, the little girl in me just wants to stick the spoon in but I'll, and like, Dig it out and kind of make a mess. <laughs> I think ultimately we're going to have to do that I to get it out of there. Anyway. Yeah, which is fun too. Is what I'm gonna... I don't think it's going to come out like a pie. Wow. But that's all right. Yeah. And what is your favorite part normally? Oh, the crust. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up chick Swanson chicken pot pie. You sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, chicken, turkey, pot pie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good. What were they, like a dollar? I mean, they were always <laughs> in the freezer. That's right. I, I'll tell you, I, I grew up in Ohio, and there's long winters. You know, it gets, you get into the February, March, and, and this is the kind of food that you, yeah. you just want a just pot want pie. Chicken pot pie. Yes, yes, yes. you do. I, I, mean, I know, me too. <laughs> so I think it said to serve it in a bowl, but we're getting it on a plate. Okay. So. Can I serve you up? No, I need to serve you. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to dig in, stir it up, make a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I'm naughty. Oh, I like it. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the smell. I can see why we would want up. this in a bowl, because it's mm -hmm. all this wonderful juice. Yeah. OK, look at that. That looks great. It sure does. And it yeah, looks nicely yeah, cooked. And look at that sauce. Whoa. It actually kind of thickened up nicely. It did. Look at that. Look at that. The mushrooms and the chicken, really. I'm sure everybody here wants some. Yeah. But I am definitely going to taste it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it tastes as good as the other ones. Because I can't say I'm, I was very uh, precise in measuring <laughs> the ingredients <laughs> for this one. So it could be terrible. So close well, your eyes. There we go. It's going to be hot, hot, right. hot, hot, hot. hot. Mm hmm. Mm. Hot, hot, hot. It's supposed to sit anyway after you take it out of the oven mm -hmm. for about 10 minutes. Okay. Wow. Sadly, this is a store pot crust on this one. But it's really good, though. The flavor really is really nice. I don't think I added enough um, of the salt free seasoning. Hmm. I don't think I uh, did. I add any <laughs> 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 to this one. I don't know, but it's good. It is. Mm. Mm. Do you ever put Tabasco on yours? Mm. No, me neither. I like hot sauce, but I've never tried that. Doesn't need it. Oh, yeah, it's got is, a wonderful flavor. Very homey feeling. Yes. And very satisfying. It is. 
Yeah, very hearty. And you can blah, 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 blah. And you have the umami in there. Mm -hmm. I'm very hot. Very hot. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. A really nice little um, spring salad would be lovely on the yeah, side as well. Absolutely. And you can like see I have the little daffodils that are just popping out. Spring is coming. I know. I actually picked these from my garden this <laughs> Did morning. you really? They're beautiful. Certainly nice if there's pepper in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Maybe there's pepper in this one. I like pepper on everything. Mm -hmm. It's More good. pepper. Mm -hmm. And it's very good for your digestion. Oh, look at That's you. I right. think you were hungry. <laughs> yes. I like that. <laughs> you know, and it doesn't have any uh, potatoes in it, so that's kind of cool, too. Right. But still, it's hearty. Yeah. And um, heart healthy. You'll feel, and you, you feel satisfied. I right. Mm -hmm. Who does it remind you of? Winter in Ohio. How about you? Yep, my mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. It is comfort food. Mm. I'm trying to remember where. Mm. I don't know. But yummy. Mm -hmm. mm. On that note, I may have a sip of my water. And I can't tell you how delightful it's been having you here tonight. It's been my pleasure. And you, thank you. You are a natural. <laughs> Absolute natural. We rolled everything out and sliced everything up, but I guess you are you are good with your hands. This is what we do. Clearly, it's, it's evident, and I thank you for everything that you do. And I really, thank, I really appreciate you coming tonight. That was really cool. Well, thank you for having I a, me. I had a lot of fun. I did too. This was wonderful. Thank you. And thank you all for your help today. And um, on that note, um, have a he heart healthy heart and eat <laughs> smart. And eat a rainbow. Good night. Good night. Bye, everyone. <laughs>